Hi! In this part of the tutorial, section 5 of my Gambas tutorial series, I will cover actually creating Gambas basic programs. Here are some examples of the types of program projects that I will cover. These program projects are relatively simple. They are designed to provide the experience of creating programs, using controls, and learning the structure of basic programming within Gambas. They should also be good bases for experimentation and modification. I hope these first point tutorials will provide the tools and experience necessary to experiment and learn the ins and outs of visual programming in Gambas Basic. For the purposes of full disclosure, I did not write the Digital Clock program. Another YouTuber created the program. The link to his tutorial video is in the description below. I included this program because I think it is such an elegant and simple program project. The original program consists of two controls and one line of code, and yet it is fully functional, useful, and is absolutely ideal for experimentation and modification. I went ahead and added a quit button, which consists of one more control and one more line of code. You can literally create and compile the digital clock project in less than a couple of minutes, and I thought it was an amazing example of Gambas's ease of creating useful, impressive programs. In later tutorials in Section 5, I will revisit one of the simplest programs, the Hello World program. We will add additional button controls, experiment with the properties of the button controls, and add some label controls. Then, in further Section 5 tutorials, I will move on to a number of example programs which I hope will both explain the fundamentals of coding in Gambas and form an excellent foundation for experimentation with the elements of the language. But first, basic code. Basic programs exist as a sequence of commands and variables. Variables are anything that can be changed, like a text message or a number that can be operated on or set to a specific value. Commands are keywords that are built into the language and perform specific functions. There are different types of commands. Some act immediately. Some allow the programmer to specify exactly what the command should do, and some commands have a specific structure as to how they are used. In the Hello World example, message is a command. In this case, the fact that this command is followed by open and closed parentheses means that the command message is a function. A function is a command that is passed some information when it is invoked and or sends out information when it completes. In this example, a string of characters is passed to the function. They are the letters Hello World. The fact that they are contained within quote marks means that they are a string variable. I will discuss types of variables as we progress with various program projects. This message function opens a message box on the screen with an OK button and displays the message contained in the quotes. The programmer can send any text message that they want by typing it within the quote marks of the program code. Another type of simple command sets one value equal to another, such as x equals current count or button1.background equals green. As you can see, this type of command has a variable or property on one side of the equal sign and a variable or value on the other. Program code is used to set these variables while the program is running, in other words, at runtime. The variable or property is on the left hand side of the equal sign, and what the variable is being set to is on the right hand side of the equal sign. In programming, these are referred to as the L value and R value. In other words, L value equals R value means that the L value or variable is set to the R value or new content. In object-oriented programs, an object's properties can also be set the same way. For example, the code button1.visible equals false immediately makes button1 invisible. And the code button1.visible equals true makes the button visible again. 
You can set most of a control's properties, such as visible, color, enabled, placement, size, etc., this way. Since this is being done while the code is running, this is called setting a property at runtime. With the exception of specialized commands that loop, jump, and test, basic programs generally execute in sequence, instruction after instruction, from top to bottom. Therefore, in the program code, the program starts at the first instruction, and the first thing the program does is to create a variable called x. Next, the message checking x is displayed. Then when the user clicks OK in the message box, the variable x is set to 1. Then the message x is equal to 1 is displayed. Then when the user clicks OK in the message box, the message ending program is displayed. And finally, when the user clicks OK in the last message box, the quit command is run and the program ends. The code example can be run by creating a simple program with a single button control. Start Gambass. Create a new project. Choose Graphical Application and Next. Select your programs directory. Give it a project name and project title. I'll call it Run Sample Code. Double click on the F main form and draw a button control. Change the button's text property to Press Me. Double click the button control and paste the sample code into the code window. Double click the F main element in the project elements pane and double click on the main form. In the code window under public subform open type me.center. This will run the program in the middle of the screen. Save it and run it. In the next point tutorial, tutorial 5.1, I will be using button controls and label controls and writing some simple code including code to change program object properties. Future tutorials will demonstrate creating a few fun simple projects using various controls and program elements. These programs are designed to demonstrate fundamental Gambas visual programming and to allow for experimentation. In later tutorials, I will also be discussing programming topics such as modules and using the methods we will write within the modules by using the object programming concept of the dot operator. Again, thanks for taking a look at these videos and joining me as I explore the Gambas language and making these videos. I hope you find them useful.